Hello everybody. Three seconds uh, late there getting on cam. <laughs> well, here's another video and welcome to my channel. And thank my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you like the videos and click the like button. And uh, God bless you and your blessing. This video is about the soldiers being punished by army for not seeking religious exemptions to COVID vaccine mandate. Now that I just don't know. Let me move this over just a little bit here. The US Army is reportedly coming down hard on soldiers who refuse its mandate to be vaccinated on religious grounds with several measures to punish those who will not march in step. According to reports, a military branch is halting promotions, banning travel off base, and even carrying out involuntary terminations. That just don't seem right to me. For a vaccine that the experts are not even 100% sure about Army penalizing soldiers seeking religious accommodations to vax mandate it's just i don't know personal claims are tactics to coerce them to drop deeply held religious convictions the army far from avoiding responsibility confirms the retributions for unvaccinated soldiers a spokesperson admitted that those who refuse a vaccine mandate without exemptions requests that are approved or pending received adverse actions. These include flags, bars to continue service, and official reprimands. I don't know. According to Fox News report, out of 4,664 religious exemptions requests by active duty soldiers, only 44 have been granted. The Army reportedly had carried out 1,722 separations with unvaccinated personnel. It is unclear how many were due to the lack of religious exemptions. One special operations major referred to the Army's actions as a technique of coercion. The officer in question is a nearly 11-year veteran served in Afghanistan as recently as last year. He said the military branch is engaged in forcing voluntary retirements, voluntary exits. His refusal to submit to the jab means he could find himself significantly behind his peers in service, which negatively affects future promotions. Uh, it's not right in my book, but that's just me. Other soldiers described the exemption process as frustrating. They talked about the warning soldiers received about even filing for the religious exemptions in the first place. If their religious beliefs were deemed insincere, they could face retribution under the Uniform Code of Military Justice. But the Pentagon itself is under scrutiny for possibly not following through with federal law to individually and thoroughly review every religious exemption request. At a time when even President Joe Biden has declared the pandemic pandemic to be over, it's ludicrous to have those protecting our nation facing involuntary expulsion over refusing to get the COVID vaccine. And punishments just for seeking religious exemptions are beyond the pale. I just can't agree with, with that. If they don't want the shot, they shouldn't have to take it. You know, that, that's their choice. You know, sometimes I think as much as they take away our choices, pretty soon we're not going to have any. Whether you're a service person, a man, a policeman, a nurse, a doctor, whatever. It seems just not right in my book. I mean, God bless the servicemen and women that serve our country to protect us and keep us safe and giving their lives. 
They don't know if they're going to be able to come home or not. If they come home, it could be in a body bag. You know, there's got to be a few changes made. Am I alone in my own thoughts here? Please leave a comment. Because this just doesn't seem real. They're drafted. They're, they join voluntarily, maybe, to fight for their country, to keep us safe, and some give their lives, but yet they're not allowed to make their own choice of getting the jab. I just can't go along with it. For some reason, I just can't go along with it. Let me know what you think. I just don't know. I can't understand. They should have a choice. They made a choice to join the services, to protect their country. And if they don't believe, if their beliefs of religion forbid them to take shots in their bodies, they should have that right to say no. I, I don't know. Let me see what, what uh, leave me a comment. Let me see what you think. But I just don't feel that it's right in my heart. Well, let's see what... Uh, I can come up with next here. Well, this is kind of a sad note here for another legal thing of men that are supposed to protect us and serve their communities, honor their badges and their oath that they took to wear a uniform and a badge. But police chief nabbed in prostitution Sting. A Texas precinct chief was one of 14 individuals arrested during the convert prostitution sting headed by the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office Organized Crime Unit. The operation was successful, executed at a local hotel two nights ago. Now, this has been probably more than that because I skipped a day and a night from not making uh, videos, so it's probably been four nights ago or whenever I don't even have the date of this article right now. But it's still a shame. But Brian Harris, who oddly enough commands the Harris County Precinct 5 Constable's Office, was detained and booked at Montgomery County Jail, where he currently awaits his bail hearing. Harris's employment has already been terminated, effectively immediately per the Constable's Office. We hold our deputies to the highest standards, said Ted Heap of Precinct 5. As it turns out, it's not so uncommon for cops to be right in the middle of these prostitution stings in all the wrong ways. Jason DePrima, a Georgia deputy sheriff of police, was recently himself in a nearly identical situation earlier this month. Officer DePrima who was also out of town like Harris, was apprehended in Florida after attempting to pay $120 per half an hour with a female he thought was a high-ended woman of the night. He was charged with solicitation of a prostitute, a misdemeanor in the state of Florida. Brian Harris also faces the charge of solicitation of a prostitute, only it's a felony offense that carries a maximum fine of $10,000 and two years in jail at most. Then again, these are interesting times we live in. You could say that again. Left-wing district attorneys in America's major cities have been on a crusade to ensure that if you do the crime, you won't do the time. It seems every other day there's a new story about a suspect with a long history of violent crime committing, you guessed it, another violent crime. Simultaneously, the wheels of justice magically start turning when it comes to police officers. 
We are sending a message that we are not going to tolerate this activity in our community. We will arrest and charge those who engage in this illicit act, said Precinct in an official press release. It would be wise for Brian Harris to spare no expense when it comes to his hiring of legal defense. My, oh my, oh my, how times have changed. I was born in the 40s, 1943. I lived through the good times of the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, till drugs started taking over and everything else, crime spiked. Rapes, murders, kidnappings. My, oh my, oh my. It's unbelievable. But here we are today, 2022. And there's unforgivable, unthinkable things that happen every day. Every minute. I was going to look up and see the statistics of how many murders there is every minute in every city, state, town, suburban areas, farm areas. But then again, maybe I don't even want to know. It's sad. We should be living in such happy times right now. Our country should be on top. But since the last two years, man alive, have we hit the ditch. I guess there's no other way for me to put it. And it's very sad. Trying so hard to just be good citizens, being good people. And some people out there don't don't give a damn about anybody else but themselves. The crimes they can commit, robberies, murders, rapes, kidnappings. Sending all our money to other countries and not taking care of the people here in the United States of America when we need help so bad. Senior citizens, young married couples, Mom and daddy's with children already. It's just unthinkable. Don't know what to say anymore. No words. I guess that's about my motto right there is just this day and age, this time of year, this year 2022. Almost going on to 2023. Is it going to get any better? Is God hearing our prayers? I know he is. And I don't doubt he don't have plans. To deal with the negative. And bring back the positive to us. That's all we can pray for. Okay. God bless you. I'll be back a little bit later. Got to find my camera button here. Here we go. God bless you. Stay safe. Stay secure. And I'll be back.